Well, joining us now is Caruso founder and executive chairman Rick Caruso. His properties include the Grove and the Americana shopping centers in Los Angeles. Rick, it's great to have you back on the show. Thank you, Morgan. Thanks for having me. Good to see you. Uh, I do want to start with your reaction to what Howard, Howard Lorward had, had to say and what you're seeing. Well, Howard's a smart guy. I always like hearing what Howard has to say, and I agree. Retail is strong. I know from our own properties, our traffic across our portfolio is up. We're up uh, double digits. Uh, the consumer continues to be spending money, and we don't see any weakness in sight. Um, so we're pleased. We're pleased with our sales per square foot and the retail growth that we see happening out there with the retailers. Are you surprised to see to see it so resilient, consumers still so uh, so ready to spend right now and, and to go out to places? I, I am, actually, Morgan. I'm a little bit more cautious maybe than others because I do worry about the impact on the rising interest rates. I think at some point in time, it's got to impact the consumer out there at some level. But we're just not seeing it yet. I think there was so much money put into the economy for so many years. Savings are still relatively high. And people, I think, post-COVID uh, are enjoying being out, spending, shopping, and dining. So I think it's going to continue at least through the end of the year from what we're seeing in our forecasts. Yeah. And we talk a lot about housing rents, especially because it feeds into CPI in such an outsized way. But what are you seeing in terms of those retail rents and other types of property rents right now? We've got we've got real growth in retail rents. So as our spaces become available, we've had significant growth. But that's all tied into sales because you can't raise your retail rent unless you've got the sales per square foot to support that. Right. You know, there's a metric retailers can only spend so much and still be profitable. The right properties, and there's certainly a flight to quality, which we're getting the benefit of, the right properties and the right retailers are spending the money on the right stores and locations because it's driving sales. And people want to shop local. People want to be close to their homes. People want to be in an area that's safe. You know, our environments are safe and friendly. And they're actually not designed for shopping. They're designed for people to come and enjoy themselves. And then they shop and then they dine. So it's a little bit different formula that we have, but it's paying off very well. Yeah. I, I, I wonder what you think about the lending environment right now, because we, we've seen signs that bank credit is tightening. We know that private credit it seems to be having a moment with the Apollos and Blackstones of the world being able to, to step in to a variety of sectors right now. What are you seeing uh, in the L.A. market and, and the rest of California where you operate? I think it's tough. In the office sector, like Howard said, I think it's very tough. Um, in the retail sector, listen, rates are higher. I don't like the higher rates. The reality is that rates are higher. The 10 year, as you know, is at an all time high that's impacting everybody. Uh, lenders have widened their spreads. It's created an opportunity for private lending, and that's going to continue to grow, I think, uh, for the, the near term. But the cost of capital is up, and everybody, including ourselves, has got to reorganize and adjust their businesses to deal with the increased costs. Uh, and also inflation, although the rate of inflation is down, the increases we're living with. So um, we're doing a lot of thinking about how we're reforming the company, reforming our expenses to be much more profitable in an environment that is more expensive to operate in. Yeah, um, I, I just wonder if there are any potential knock on effects or unintended consequences of the pain that we're starting to in almost slow motion see Royal uh, office real estate specifically in some of these major markets, the poor quality office real estate, I, as some developers are now handing back the keys, for example, to some of yeah. their buildings to banks. Well, I think there are. I mean, one of the things that I don't like saying, I wish the Fed would just take a pause and let time come through and see what the impacts are to the increased rates and if inflation is going to really be at the level we want and the economy has slowed down. But the impact on these office buildings, I don't, I'm don't. i not smart enough to figure out, Morgan, what the next generation of office buildings are going to look like, how you reuse these office buildings. And core downtowns like L.A., San Francisco, are just getting decimated. You know, we've got a 20% vacancy in downtown L.A. Hmm. Now, part of that is because of the homeless problem. Part of that is because of crime still embedded in Los Angeles, which is a problem. Part of that is back to work. But a lot of these buildings are just antiquated, and probably they're going to end up coming down mm. and then rebuilt for another purpose. And it may be residential, which probably makes the most sense. But converting them 
as you know, is really expensive. Yeah. And we don't see a lot of that happening, at least in L.A. that I'm aware of.